Hello people, Alex again. We are going to continue today with the second mission in chapter 4 where Arthur meets Dutch and John to visit Angelo Bronte after we had to find where he lives in my previous video and I just upload. I was working on capturing the moments where you walk between the cutscene with cinematic camera. I hope I made it look well and hopefully you like it. Enjoy the story and see you later. Gonna have a lot of protection. No one gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Uh, uh. You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Uh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Boys, we come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. They Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this. And you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. Twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> That's the very steep woman here. Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Mars. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, can my friend. Have his son. Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linden, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Hey, 
Let's go, girl. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... <sighs> He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack ransom for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. So let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. I'll check this way. I like how spooky it is. I hope you see... I put a lot of effort in this and I hope... I really hope you're going to enjoy it because it took me a lot of time and I had to be very careful to combine every moment so I hope it's going well to drink friend died they can hear us you know they're still with us you should get yourself home heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. You see anything? You boys found my happy watch it!
Let's bail, boys. Look out! They're making a run for it. You should have paid Mr. Bronte. Please, God. Careful. They're leaving us out in the open. So here you need to be careful to shoot everyone before they separate around you so you can loot them on time because the cops are going to come after the battle. You would really want to loot all of them because they all have a lot of money and expensive stuff as well. You can see here how much things and money I'm collecting. Someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. So watch here now this X. This isn't one of the guns we just shot. If you paid attention while we were shooting them, there was no one we killed. It appears after we are done. This is a trap. This is why I uh, I put the moment when I fail so you can see what you have to be careful for. Thank you. 
can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show. Lord Arthur? Check that spot where it all kicked off. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it! Come on. We best stick to the side. You can watch here for the same body. It's going to be there. This body is always there. And it's not one of them. One of those who we killed. It's another guy. But what is inter interesting is that uh, the policemen say it's fresh, but we we didn't kill him. You can see now when I loot him, I'm not going to take the same stuff that I took from the other bodies. So he's not one of one of them. I guess that he was there accidentally, and some of the some of them kill him. But uh, surely it's not no one from no one from us with John. Some ideas are appearing now in my mind while I am recording the audio while I am watching the video and I have I have ideas for experiments I'm going to make in this mission so you can expect more for this one. Took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Pam. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Behind you. All right. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. 
Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lamar. I love Arthur how he's a garden party. <laughs> I I love him. He's so uh somehow not not so culture and yeah I I guess you know what I mean. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Abigail. Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack! How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank you. Well, pretty much this is for today. I hope you enjoy. There are a few reasons I'm uploading the whole missions. In some moment, I'm going to explain why. When we have more time, because I don't want to stretch my videos too long. This one is already too long, so... Yeah, and I'm going to ex explain another time. Uh, if you found something you were searching for, I, a like would be much appreciated. Also, if you want to see all my good ideas I'm working on, you can subscribe. Thank you for the attention and see you next time. Bye!